Hi, I'm Ron Greenberg. Okay, so we're going to do a deeper demo of the backend. So let's run the backend. We can see that it's waiting for the agents and the frontend to connect. And all this output that we see here is of the Hibernate ORM that we used in order to communicate with the database. It's using the MySQL connector and uses a username and password to connect to the database. Now we may stop the backend and run it again. But this time, use the CLI batch script, which is going to run the jar with the print active tasks command line argument, which, as you can see, prints a list of the active tasks every few seconds. If we hold it for a moment, we can see that each task is a separate thread. The first task is the main thread, the second is the view thread that generates this very output of the active tasks. Then we have the server listening for agents and another server listening for the front end. And the last one is a monitoring thread, which keeps track of the status of all connected agents, whether they're flying or finished. If we close the backend now and run it again, but then connect the front end, we can see a message that the front end connected, and now when the fleet overview window opens, it asks for the data of all planes from the database. And we can actually see the select query used by Hibernate in order to fetch the results from the SQL database. And when we close the front end, we can see a message that the front end disconnected. And of course, we could run it again now and reconnect it to the back end. Okay, so now we're in the GitHub page of the backend. We can see that it has a model view and controller. Most of the interesting design patterns are found in the model, so let's go there. And let's go to the interpreter. And let's start with the command factory, which is obviously an example of the factory pattern. It has a creator interface, and we can insert commands with which we want the factory to produce. And every time we need a new command, we get it from the factory using this method. Now if we go to commands, obviously all the different commands supported by the interpreter are an example of the command pattern. Another design pattern can be found in the condition parser command, which is the common ancestor of if and loop commands. And we can see that it implements command and contains a map of other commands, which is an example of the composite pattern. We can see another example of this pattern in the binary expression class that implements expression and also has two expressions. One last design pattern that we used is the singleton pattern in the Hibernate Util class because we only want to use a single session factory throughout the connection with the database. And as you can see, in every query utility function, we first get the session factory from Hibernate Util.